I'm Johannes. I'm 46 years old and I live in Bantry Bay in Cape Town. I'm a doctor and uh, I'm training in surgery at Fredeskiri Hospital. I came back to South Africa about three years ago to do surgery. Well, I've always wanted to live in Cape Town, um, but wanted to you know, see the rest of the world. And having done that, I sort of realized that there's a lot of good quality of life to be had in South Africa and specifically in Cape Town. The working environment is far more relaxed, I find, than, than abroad. Um, it's hard work, lots of hours, you know, on calls, sleepless nights. But um, overall, yeah, it's good. I love Cape Town. Being a, a white South African male, Afrikaans, um, and my sexual identity, I'm gay. So, yeah, that's sort of, you know, what, what, what my objective was to go out and sort of rediscover myself. That was when I was much younger, obviously, when I was in my late 20s. And to, to become someone who I'm comfortable with and who, um, who I'm happy to be. There weren't any good, I think, role models in terms of gay people where, when I was in my 20s in Bloemfontein. It was very cliché. It was just post-apartheid as well. So there were a lot of, you know, we had, people had lots of chips on their shoulders about all sorts of things there. It was a mess. I was still held back a lot by other aspects of identity, be it you know, race and, and culture and religion. So, and they didn't really contribute in helping me to come out there. Moving to London, sort of like you know, in the, the late 90s, allowed me to be completely anonymous and almost start all over again and see you know, who I was and you know, be around as a, people in general who I felt comfortable with across all spectrums of life. It's a certain sort of sense of life you want to feel mostly wherever you live. A sense of, uh, of a healthy lifestyle. Enough people with like-minded attitudes. I had a very good idea of how South Africa had changed in the meantime, but I'd already set up my own life abroad and you know, had started a new life there. Coming back here was you know, really more about wanting to enjoy South Africa and the people and the weather and my family, be close to my family and, and I'll do my career thing. I think we're still slowly coming out of that mess here. Um, you know, it takes a few generations to to actually be part of a a nation that that operates on the basis of individuality um, within a group context, but as individuals. The greatest lesson. Uh, there are many. It's, I think what, what comes around goes around is a good one. But what you put out there, you know, letting what you put out there would hopefully come back. Um, you know, you, you, you are what you put out there and what you make of life. You can't sit back and wait for things to come to you. You've got to you know, proactively go out there and, and, and develop yourself and develop your relationships and make your life happen for yourself.